Good morning and welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle 11 and you can find me on X at Razzle 11 Grinds. Going to take a look at the picture for today, the 20th of September. It is a Friday. We do have a 12 game main slate ahead of us this evening. A uh, reminder this is a first look at pitching options. Uh, I will be looking at DraftKings as that is where a majority of my action is. If you plan for fan duel, I would cut my pool into a half or even a third. Uh, pricing isn't as tight. The scoring system being different, you don't have to be as creative at pitcher. Uh, allows us to really focus on spending up towards the high K guys, um, since K's seem to be uh, more important to FanDuel. But with that said, let's just jump right in. Um, Corbin Burns at the top, a minus 198 favorite. Kind of righted the ship a little bit. Um, went through a little rough stretch. Just shut down this Detroit squad. Um, Detroit's playing really well right now. Um, as a Twins fan, I need definitely need Baltimore to pull this one out here. Um, trying to locate this game for his K-props, and I'm not seeing any. K prop listed right now for this game. So um certainly uh plenty of upside. Not the best of seasons for Corbin Burns to be honest, but um uh, important spot. Uh this is generally a time where aces need to step up. So uh, I will be using Burns. Uh Zach Gallon traditionally struggles a bit on the road. Uh his numbers this year are better on the road than they have been. Um, his walk rate jumps. He's decent against the Brewers the last time he faced them. Not spectacular by any means, which happens to be his previous start. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do with Zach Gallon this evening. K-prop of 5.5 and would choose strongly on the over. He is a minus 125 favorite. Game total of 8. Um, he's probably in the pool right now, um, but he's somebody that I can see myself removing uh, just based on how I feel about him when pitching on the road and in this particular matchup. George Kirby against Texas uh, has absolutely dominated them uh, across two starts this season. Now he is pitching on the road where he's not as strong of a pitcher, allows a lot more home runs, K rate's a lot lower. Um, walk rate's lower, which is obviously nice, but still. Um, and obviously his last start came against Texas, which we've now seen three pitchers and all three of their last starts were against the same team. Uh, kind of an annoying quirk with scheduling. Um, Texas is actually a minus 122 favorite. Game total of seven, though. Super close game. K-prop of five and a half, which is on the under. Uh, his K's really haven't been there of late. Um, just two starts over 5K since uh, the end of July. Uh, I think he's going to be in play just because I think that Texas lineup can get a little ugly uh, without Seager um, as they mix in some other guys. Uh, you know, like Justin Fosco, I think he's hitting like 050 or something. Um, you know, so it could be a lineup that we want to attack. Um, but as of now, I won't go super heavy uh, on him. Joe Musgrove pitching at home where he's allowed quite a few home runs, which is shocking, um, in the ballpark. But obviously his upside's there. He's got the best matchup you could ask for. Uh, so he's going to be overly chalky. K-prop of 6.5. Juice is on the under, which is... Uh, Seems a little low. Uh, minus 250 favorite. It seems kind of low as well. Uh, I guess Crochet is pitching on the other side, but Crochet is only a couple inning guy. Uh, and I believe the White Sox bullpen is, had been or still is the worst in baseball. Garrett Cole against the A's. Uh, pitching on the road where he's been far better than at home. Uh, coming off of a, a rough performance against Boston. I can see a bounce back start here. Um, 
home runs could be an issue because we know that Oakland hits them. Uh, but he is a minus 198 road favorite. K prop of six and a half juices on the over. Um, Garrett Cole, definitely worth going with. Um, you know, when we, we get him at a, a perceived discount generally from where we're, where we think he's at. I guess his price has not crossed the 10K mark this season. Uh, but the last handful of seasons, he's been at 10K plus. So there is some perceived value in that price point. Charlie Morton taking on Miami, certainly in play. Hasn't been super sharp against the Marlins. Um, strikeouts have been there, which is always nice. Um, his numbers on the road, not as strong uh, from a fantasy perspective. Been really steady the last few. Um, you know, if he would have picked up wins in his last two starts, we're looking at around 25 to 26 fantasy points. Uh, a number that we are targeting. K prop of 6.5 juices on the under for him. And game line wise, he is a minus 205 road favorite. Um, certainly in play. Uh, I do think this trio uh, is will be higher owned collectively uh, than this trio. Uh, probably not saying much because Musgrove is going to be pretty popular, but uh, these two guys probably higher owned than uh, these three up here, maybe. Uh, it would not shock me. David Peterson against the Phillies. Shut them down the first time he faced them. He's been really good at home. Uh, it's been actually pretty surprising overall. But, again, his last start came against Philadelphia. Uh, seems to be a theme today. Right now, that game's a pick -em. Um K-Prop of 5.5 juices on the under. I might be tempted to use some, some Peterson. Um, but, not, you know, we're looking at the first seven pitchers. I guess Gallon could be removed. Um, I kind of put him with the get with Gallon. Um, guys that I probably end up removing, but in fine utilizing in, you know, a, a small amount of my, my lineups this evening. And um, the matchup that we like in Colorado, um, Robleski has not looked all that great for the Dodgers. Um, there's also a chance that he ends up following an opener or something. Um, last outing was two weeks ago. So he was optioned. He was sent down. Um, so I'm not even sure if he for sure is getting called up. So I'll have to pay attention to that. I love the matchup. I'll have to see what he's done in the minors since he was sent down. Um, just because I... Like I said, we, we do want to take on Colorado a bit. Sanchez against the Mets, I'm probably not going to go there. Um, he has looked good against them. His road numbers are pretty bad. Uh, he loves a ton of hits, etc. Uh, he is throwing the ball well, but I just don't know if he's going to offer us enough upside on the slate where uh, so far there's, a, there's enough pitching that we have some interest in. Um, you know, Michael Walker is one of those guys that we're going to have some interest in. His home number is really strong. Uh, throwing the ball really well the last couple starts. I think I would be more interested in Waka than uh, Sanchez and Peterson. Um, not seeing a K prop for him right now either. Um, uh, there it is. Five and a half is the K prop. He is a minus one sixty six favorite, so I am interested in Waka a bit. Uh, not gonna use Ray against Arizona. Degrom, a high K upside matchup. I think we're gonna utilize him. We're interested in him here, not knowing exactly how many pitches. Um, traditional increases would say he's around seventy five pitches. I'm not sure they're gonna treat it in a traditional sense. But uh, going back to the last handful of years, we have seen DeGrom go nuts when he is on a limited pitch number. Um, we've seen him manage to get five and six innings on 60 to 65 pitches uh, while racking up seven, eight, nine strikeouts. Uh, it is dangerous. I, I do do worry about that. But, like, he's just so good. Um, 
and he's shown over and over again that he can hit GPP winning scores uh, in a a capped performance. So uh, I am interested, but obviously I want some more news to come out to see if you know they are going to increase him enough uh, to make him worth it. If they keep him at sixty again, uh, I might pass um, just based on his last performance at that number and it was against this team. So uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, I get if you want to just pass on him because you you feel like you're not going to get enough uh, performance. I do think he has the ability to get 25 fantasy points in just four to five innings. So that is why he is make, going to probably make that. Festa against Boston, going to have to pass. Um, showed a lot of K-upside in the minors. He has shown, flashed it a little bit this season, but uh, just not going to get it done for me. Uh, Verlander, a couple starts against the Angels, nothing special. Uh, strikeouts just haven't been there, so I'm going to end up passing on Verlander as much as it pains me. Um, because I I do like the the matchup against the Angels in general, but uh, I don't I just don't think it makes sense in this spot. Going down, I don't really see a whole lot to be interested in, to be honest. Lively, uh, been dealing with an injury or whatever, or maybe got hit by a comebacker if that's what it was. But um, I mean, strikeouts just aren't there. St. Louis doesn't strike out a ton as it is, so uh, I have no problem passing on him. Richard Fitz, uh, yeah, not going to work. I know Minnesota can struggle a little bit. They have been struggling, but I just don't think he has enough upside for us. Kind of the case as we go down, there isn't a whole lot. So, you know, the, the pitching options are going to come from the top half. Uh, on the slate in the pool. So, uh, but there we have it. There's our first look at pitching. If you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. And if you want to join us and get access to our coaches, tools, sheets, Discord, etc., I will put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, that's R A Z, for 10% off monthly. And as always, best of luck, everybody.